On a remote island near the North Pole, the Norwegians are building an international seed bank inside a frozen Arctic mountain. It's exciting and it's a very special project. It's a lot of interests. Everyone thinks that this is a very exciting project and it's a once in a lifetime project. But I've never been responsible for something like this. The aim is to safeguard the world's agriculture from future catastrophes, such as nuclear war, asteroid strikes and climate change. Let's go inside. <laughs> it's known as the Doomsday Vault. Most people are happy to rely on just a few major crops, such as rice or wheat, for their food. For some scientists, however, that's dangerous. All of the wheat that they see in the field, in a particular field, is typically going to be the same and uniformly vulnerable to any new pest or disease that, that might come along. And there is, in fact, one coming along for wheat, um, a wheat uh, stem rust virus, which is actually um, was the cause of plagues that are mentioned in the Bible. This is a terrible, terrible disease that uh, a new variant of which has started in Uganda and it's working its way um, around the world. Well, maybe one of the varieties that we lost five or ten years ago was precisely the variety that could confer resistance to that disease now. April the 28th, 2007, the Norwegians began digging the Doomsday Vault in earnest. We are building three vaults inside the mountains here in the permafrost, where the seeds are going to be stored. And then we have a tunnel and we have a, a, a building in front and we have a working space or a working area inside the mountains here. The vault rooms will be at the end of a very long tunnel. The rooms themselves are about 25 meters long, about 13 meters wide, five meters high. It's actually, in a way, um, appropriate technology. It's as small as beautiful idea. The facility itself is extremely simple. In effect, a seed bank is a cross between a filing cabinet and a giant freezer. And the vault itself is going to be mechanically cooled down to about minus 18 to 20. This is number three. And if that mechanized cooling fails, we, we're going to have months, indeed years, to get the repairman out. Well, as you're coming down the tunnel there, the experimental data for a crop like sorghum is that the seed can be frozen at minus 20 for about 19,000 years. So some seed will last a long, long time. And, but it'll still be the if you're really thinking long term, then you don't want to depend completely on human beings and mechanical systems. And Svalbard, uh, inside the mountain, is a permafrost situation. It's minus six. So the worst case projections for climate change in Svalbard is that we still have frozen seed there 200 years from now. 